Duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> See this white tree over here, how the water how the water line comes way up to where where it splits. So we're talking about approximately six or seven meters above where it is now. And that wasn't too long ago. That was just maybe two months ago that the water was that high. First one, Santana, is the one we're going to visit. It's a very old community. It's been there for a long time. Coming to your place, here, so. well, the refugio has um, many houses. Everybody has their own house, which is made of. Uh, wood and leaves from the jungle and mosquito netting. They're very clean, large and comfortable so you have privacy but you can have your visitors and and your food is brought to you. You can bring your computers and your laptops if you wanted to work. There's solar power. I never expected to come here and be deep into so much nature and I think after the experience you know you go to the ceremony you do ayahuasca <clears throat> and it's just a moment where you it's you or you nature and that's it so deep deep nature so your mind is very clear to be conscious about who you are because the setup also is it's perfect I've done this many times. It's always very helpful. I came here to kind of relax, be in nature, and uh, Right, ayahuasca. You can, so now you can take a three quarter cup. Okay. So we'll be pushing up by 50%. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Oh, that's good. Okay. I first came to the refugio in May of 1999 by canoe. And a friend took me here. 
I'd been to Peru once before and I wanted to do the ayahuasca because I was ready for a deep cleaning and cleansing. And the first time I took it, it was amazing. I went and I'd had a traumatic experience when I was a child and the ayahuasca took me right there and, and cleaned it up. My dog came to me almost in spirit, and the shaman and Scott saw the dog. So right away I could tell it was a very magical place, and it was a magical experience. And so I kept coming, and that's been 14 years. <laughs>